Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about today is the 22 Ram horn honk feature. Now this was not on the 21s, it was on the 22. So if you have a 21, it doesn't do it, it's not an issue. If it is a 22 year model, they programmed it in as part of safety stuff, right? Um, now Fords, they have it also, and you can go into Foreskin and you can unlock it. Um, with the Rams, use Alpha OBD. Um, of course, logged into the system, looked at every line. There's nothing in the BCM that will allow you to disable this. Um, I think they've tied it somewhere into the, to the ECM or the SGW module. And so at this point right now, nobody really knows how to disable it. It's very irritating. It is a loud three honks. Um, my wife's Escalade has it and it does a quick beep beep. You know, it's not too irritating, but this is three solid honks. And just real quick, I'm gonna show you what that feature is. And, um, you know, I know some of you say, well, you can leave your spare key in the truck. And if you leave your spare key in the truck, it won't do it. But the problem is somebody breaks your window, breaks in your truck, they can drive off with it. So that's not the best, the best fix either. Um, so I'm going to show you two ways to fix it today. There's a real quick fix. If you're just irritated with it, want to get rid of it. And then there's a way I feel that kind of does it a little more right because there's a lot of features in this truck. I'm going to get into that and why you do need the horn. Um, but let me go ahead and start the truck up. I'm going to get out with the key and shut the door and I'll show you what the feature does. So as you can see, that feature is very irritating, it's very loud. And if you park at nighttime, you live in an apartment complex, anything, it's gonna wake people up. Um, so, you know, hopefully Ram comes out with an update that will let the user disable it, but for now that's not available. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to disable it if it completely irritates you. Get my phone off the rack. Okay, so for immediate relief of this feature, you come into your fuse box right here. If you look right here, there's a little puller over here on the left-hand side, so you can see the whole box, right? There's a big fuse right here. It's a big 30 amp. There's a 20 right under it, right? Just grab that 20, pull it out. Put my little holder back. Shut that. We'll shut the hood. Start the truck. We're completely in the truck. Get out of the truck. And of course, you see the light flash, but you will not have any horn honks. So that does get rid of it, right? But there's a lot of features that disables the horn completely. So your horn button doesn't work either. So let's talk about the features and talk about what I'm going to do today. Okay, so. You know, that disables the horn, that gets rid of it. You know, if you need to do something right now, I mean, that's a fix. Of course, you don't have a horn to use. Um, you know, as another option, you can tie your auxiliary one switch straight to the horn and just use the auxiliary one switch if you want. Um, you know, that's another easy way to get around it where you can still utilize your horn. Um, but me, you know, with this truck, you have the tire feel alert. So basically what we want is, you know, when you're filling your tires up, the horn honk at you, it'll tell you when it's full or when it's at the set pressure. And then also if you have the trailer TPMS, if you're programming those, you know, you're waiting on that honk every time you go around and, and do that. Um, your panic button, that, that makes the horn work. And then also your lock confirmation. So if you're walking away from the vehicle, you hit the lock, you hit it again, you like to hear that horn. So you want that confirmation. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of features that the horn is actually used for. So that's not a good fix in my eyes. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a relay. And basically what I'm gonna do is the horn's gonna be on a no normally closed circuit. So if it doesn't have power, it's gonna work. So if the truck is off, um, you know, the, the lock feature and all those things will work. Now I do have the auxiliary switches in my dash and you can set those up for latching or non-latching or ignition or battery power. So basically we wanna to go to latching and we wanna to go to ignition. And I'm gonna to go to auxiliary one 
And then every time I start the truck, it's automatically gonna be on. Auxiliary one is gonna go to last state. And so it's gonna allow, when the truck starts up and auxiliary one button's on, it's automatically the horn's gonna be disabled. But when I shut the truck off and I step out of it, then I will still be able to have the lock confirmation and all the things I want. Now, if I'm driving the truck and I need to use my horn as a standard feature, I can just push auxiliary one off and then the horn works like it should and all the features work like it should for lock confirmation, everything like that. But like I said, when it powers down, you shut the truck off, the horn's gonna work for panic, it's gonna work for lock confirmation, everything, because that's a normally closed relay and if it's not getting power, it's gonna allow the horn to work. And so anyway, I'm gonna, the horn is actually located up in this top fender up here. Um, I'm gonna have to pull this fender well off. You can get your hand kind of down to it, but it's hard to get to the plug. And Once you get all the bolts out and get your inner fender well pulled loose, you can kind of get under here and you can get to your horn. You have to kind of roll this back. Get to a millimeter up there. Okay, so this is your horn. Once you get it off, I've decided to run one horn because this, if I, I don't want to cut the factory harness and for me, <clears throat> one horn should be plenty loud. I'm gonna cut into this, and if you look on here, it says 12 volt on this top one right here. So I'm gonna cut this wire here, this supplies a 12 volt, and this is the one that'll open the circuit with the relay. Um, you can see that other one's the negative. And like I said, I'll leave this connector tied to this one horn for now. And uh, anyway, let me get that cut and get those connections, and we'll get this mounted back up under the fender. Okay, so once we've got all that done, we've got the horn plugged in, we've got the fuse back in. Everything's done. Um, we got the inner fender well back in, and we're using one horn. So we've got these two tied together right now. So we can take your key fob, just double it, and you'll hear it, the horn honk, so you know it's working. We're gonna disconnect these two leads. You don't hear the horn honk, so that disconnects it. So now I'm gonna grab the relay, and we're gonna get that wired up. Okay. So this is your wire for auxiliary one. You'll make that connection come out there. If you just if you don't have auxiliary switches, you can use a toggle switch with ignition if you want on the inside. It runs around to the coil of my relay. My coil, my ground for my coil of the relay is tied in here. I just made a loop, grounded it there, and then the two wires coming from the horn are tied in and normally closed without power. So once you get that wired up, let's go ahead and get in the front and the let's get in the truck and let's uh, set the auxiliary switch and then show you how it works. Oh yeah, and we can check it right now. With no power, we should get lock confirmation. There it is, right there. So you're getting your lock confirmation and all your horn features with the power off. Okay, so let's go into settings. It's gonna be under your commercial settings. You'll go in here, enter your pin and then you go to auxiliary switches. We're gonna to go to auxiliary one. Our type is going to be latching. That means it's gonna stay, it's not a momentary. We'll go back. Back. Power source, we want that to be ignition. So we're there, go back. And then of course, last state, we want that on. That means whatever the button was in and whatever position, it's gonna maintain that position with key ons and key offs. Okay. So once we've got the type, the last state, and all those things set up, um, we're good to go. So we can go back out of here. Okay. Now, we're gonna turn auxiliary one on, right? Because we want it to stay in that all the time. We'll shut the truck off. We're gonna get out of the truck. We're gonna make sure we get our lock confirmation. Of course, horn honked. Unlock it. We're gonna get back in the truck. 
we're gonna start the truck. And if you look down there, auxiliary one comes on with the ignition like it's supposed to. So now what we're gonna do is get out of the truck with the key. But you see I have. You will get no horn on. So your horn is disabled with the ignition on now when the truck's running. So you also will not have a horn button. Nothing will work. Now for you to get those features and you want them to work, you just reach down here, hit auxiliary one. Your horn works. And then if you get back out with that auxiliary one off, you should get your horn honk feature. Just like that. Like, thank you for tuning in the channel today. Please hit that like and subscribe in the bottom corner. Uh, <clears throat> you know, um, just wanted to kind of do a quick video today to show you. I promised that I'd get that out, how I set mine up. And uh, it works really well it, until somebody unprograms this or figures out a way to unprogram it. When they do, all I have to do is pull that inner fender out, pop that in, cut my relay back out, and I'm back in business. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching the video. We'll catch you on the next one.